Hello and welcome to PTS Primo Charts. This is our session number 19. Uh, today we are going to talk about um, tomorrow in the morning we will have an automatic upgrade and the new upgrade is is going to, when you open your platform, is going to tell you that it's going to automatically start updating the platform so you don't have to do pretty much uh, anything until it finishes. So then after you do that, you're gonna have version 207. And that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna see what are the changes that you're gonna have tomorrow on your platform. So the first change is that now you can change the font size for the strategy bars, which are the green bars. Uh, we implemented alerts on uh, the Primo oscillator. Um, we did a couple of fixes. One was on the trade station connection for, uh, data feed. And another one was on the paper trading module. Uh, we added strategy number two um the course uh along with with the master scanner class um is coming up so as soon as the course starts you're gonna have your strategies activated and uh, there is a little change on the portfolio managers on the scanners uh when you open them they're gonna have the colors to to connect to the chart so i'm gonna show you uh, all of these uh, changes. So as you can see on the top, I have version 207 now. And if you go to file and then go to settings, we added an option for font size and tooltip. So the font size will increase or decrease uh, the font size for uh, the green bars. And I'm gonna check later tooltips. So we're gonna save this and you're gonna see how this font is increased. So if you have a big screen, this may work for you. But on the other hand, if you have a smaller screen, maybe you need to really downsize your font size. And in that case, I will recommend that you check on the tooltip. And what this does is that uh, you have the strategy, so you, you're gonna have more space on your, on your screen. And then if you just hover over the signals, you will see which signal that is. So you can really go um, really small on the font size. Um, and then the tooltip will allow you to see which strategy you're working with, okay? And this doesn't change at all. This is the same size uh, still. So let's go back over there. And the default font size is 8.5. I don't need a tool, tool tip. So that's uh, one of the changes that we implemented. Uh, the second change uh, was related to the connection. So if you happen to have um, or trade with trade station, you can now connect PTS Primo Charts to trade station. And there was a fix that was done on this one. So if you didn't know, we have trade station, trade station for customers too. Um, the, on the Primo Oscillator, uh, once you open the Primo Oscillator, you have this icon. And this will allow you to uh, manage alerts. So the alerts will open a window and this window is pretty much the same alert um, window that we have up here, okay? So if you're familiar already with this one, this one is not going to be difficult. They're not difficult at all for you. So we're gonna say manage alerts and my alerts are not enabled so I can check, you know, all of the alerts um, and just, Click OK and they will be active. And with these alerts, what you're going to get is a sound or a pop up. So you can implement also your own alert. So let's go to the first one. And I think the second one is going to have a little fix by tomorrow morning. 
Uh, so we're going to work with the first one, with the third one, the second one, we're going to leave it for uh, until they fix something. So when you open this, this is the name. You can type in any name. And you have the oscillator, prim oscillator, and you have a value. And you have the options to cross above, cross below, when it's greater, when it's less, when it's greater or equal. So you have different options. So these are pretty much, if you don't want this to be 300, but maybe you want it to be 400 or you want it to be 200, you can change that number, basically. Uh, if you want 300, but also you want 400, what you can do is add, click on add and just uh, create the alert. So it's going to be above, uh, sorry, above uh, 400. And that is the prim oscillator cross above this value and my value is going to be 400 and click, you see the play sound, show pop up and you have to enable the alert and click OK, and you will be adding that alert. If you need to delete it, you just click on the X and that will be deleted. So the alerts that comes with the indicator is when it crosses above 300 level, when it crosses above below the 300 level, um, when it is above the zero level, uh, when it's above the simple day moving average one, which is the 20, or the 50 day moving average, or when the simple or 20 day moving average crosses above the 50 day moving average. So those are the alerts that that we will have. So let's look at the last one. So you have two moving averages. One is 20 and one is 50. And then if it crosses above the 20, crosses above the 50, which is the first moving average, crosses above the second, they, the second moving average, you're going to play a sound or show a pop-up window. The pop-up window will depend on the settings that you have on your windows, okay? So most likely you will get both, but if you don't get the pop-up, that's on settings on your windows that is not allowing the pop-ups to show. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, the alerts. And... I think we covered all of the options, but if you feel that we haven't covered options, you just can create your own alert and and see where it takes you. This is supposed to be fun for you. We're gonna click OK. All of the alerts, uh, all of the alerts that I have are enabled. Make sure that they are enabled so you can get the sound and the pop-up window. So that's on alert. Uh, regarding strategy number two, so uh, let me see what am I sharing. So you have now a strategy number two. I'm going to go to my Apple chart and um, it is, you know, pretty much working already. Mine is a dot or this is the default setting. So this is pretty much what you're going to get uh, in a few days when uh, you... Um, I'm going to change this to spy. When the course starts, then you're going to get uh, this active, but they are already working along with uh, the scanner. And the last uh, change that we made is just a simple one. Whenever you open a multi-scanner, you already have these connectors with the yellow color and the same one for the portfolio manager. So let's uh, do a portfolio manager for and click OK, and you have these colors. Uh, so it's going to be easier for you if you have a chart and open new scanners. You just have to go to the chart and see if you want to link that to the multi scanner or to your new portfolio manager. And those are pretty much the changes for version 207 tomorrow. And the most important also is that the update is going to be automatically done. You don't have to do pretty much anything when you open the platform. It's going to start doing that for yourself. If you have any questions uh, tomorrow, um, you know my email address. Uh, and just if something goes happens uh, with your updating, just contact me immediately. 
and we will go uh, and fix it. So have a nice day and, um, and see you next week.